three, two, one. What's up, everybody? What's up, people? This past Sunday, we lost a legend, a hero, an icon. And uh, we want to do a moment of silence, a cheers as well. Uh, eight seconds of silence to you, Kobe. And uh, cheers, brother. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe. Thank you for all the memories, the, uh, the happiness, and the inspiration. Uh, that Mamba mentality is going to live forever uh, through us and all the people that you've reached throughout your years uh, inspiring us. So we thank you. Thank we you. love you, Kobe. We love you, Gigi. What's up, people? What's up, everybody? What's happening? Oh, man, oh, no. man. Oh, man. We, uh, we lost a legend this past Sunday, January 26th of 2020. Uh, not much can be said, but a lot can be said. A lot. Oh, uh, man. R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Kobe. Um, as you guys know, Kobe passed. And G.G. Kobe and Gianna passed along with seven others in a helicopter crash uh, going to one of uh, G.G.'s uh, basketball games. <clears throat> and, uh, man, it's uh, it's news that I just, I still can't believe. Yeah, it's, it's, you know when you first hear it, and I know everybody felt like this, when you first hear it, it's like, it's like, nah. Yeah, man. Nah, man. Nah, yeah, he tripping. Because he's actually the first person really quick. This guy is. I texted him. Oh, um, like, you hear I, what's going on? My my brother had texted me. He's like, hey, did you hear what's going on? And I hate when people tell me that shit because, like, obviously, if I have not, I'm like, no, tell me. And then he doesn't tell me for a while. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. So, like, I'm, like, going on news or whatever, and nothing's even up yet. And then uh, my brother texted me back, hey. Supposedly Kobe passed, and I'm like, what? Kobe Bryant? Yeah. Or fucking Kobe Jones from LA Galaxy, oh, bro. I'm like, shit. what the fuck? Yeah. And I'm like, nah, this can't be it. So I go on Facebook, and I see one other post was saying, wow, I can't believe my idol died. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And so I start asking around, and then the, the homie Jesse tells me, go on TMZ. I go on TMZ and boom, the fucking headline is right there. I'm like, this has to be a fucking hoax. Yeah, it is. I text this guy, be like, hey, bro, you see all the shit that's going on with Kobe? Uh, Man. That shit was not. I, I texted him the, the headline and fucking, I'm trying to find like other news stories to see if this shit's popped up. And I go back on TMZ and the website is down. So I'm thinking, okay. Everybody's on it. Every, either everyone's on it. My thinking was it's bullshit. Yeah, like it was a someone got hacked. Someone got hacked and they got they got to retract that bullshit out story. Which I that's what I was hoping for essentially. And then, man, right after the other, I just started seeing other news pop up, CNN, ESPN. Like fuck, it's it's really happening, man. You got the names, bro, of everybody else. Yeah. Um, Along with Kobe and, and Gianna, uh, we have John and Carrie Albatelli, or uh, Al Alto Belli, along with their daughter Alyssa, Christina Mauser, uh, Sarah Chester, her daughter Peyton, and uh, as well as the pilot, uh, Ara Zoboyan. Yeah, rest in peace to everybody that was on that show. I know, I know, I know because uh, Kobe's a big face, you know, the others. The others don't get looked at as much, but you know they they were all uh, they were all a part of it. They're all a part of it, and um, 
their loss is just as bad. Yeah, for sure. It's just a whole family, right? Uh, one will uh, yeah, the, the coaches. Kids. Yeah, that's the cool. coaches. That's really sad. Uh, I mean, it's all sad. Yeah, for um, sure. And uh, you got a little something special here for them. Yeah. Uh, you just picked this up, yeah? Yeah. The uh, Laga Vulin. I hope I'm saying that yeah, right. Yeah, you're saying that. Laga Vulin. Um, it's a double matured whiskey. Um, so how many? How much is the batch? Uh, I think it's like the four. Oh, number four. Number out of, four out of five hundred and eight. Yeah. So we'll I seen that eight on there, you know. Right. You know, so I was like, oh, there's got to be the one. It's a sign. Yeah, you know what though? You know, we are. It, it's so crazy how one person has touched so many people. Many people. Many you and people he has never met. It's crazy. It yeah, it's nuts, bro. Like how? How does that happen? You know, I've seen celebrities die and people get really sad, but nothing like this. Nothing like this, man. His his reach goes beyond basketball fans, goes beyond Los Angeles. It's worldwide. Yeah, it's it's worldwide. it's crazy, man. It's one of those deaths. Not not to put any other deaths. Yeah, yeah. Down, but this one hit hard, man. Yeah, felt- like not only for just us Angelinos, but everyone, I think. Especially, man, you know, like the Philippines. Oh, the Philippines. Oh, man. Yeah, they drew a big-ass mural on the whole basketball quick, too. Bro, that, um, dude, just everywhere, I would say, man. China. Oh, yeah. Speaking yeah, of Kobe's city, big dude. around the world, man. It's... For sure. He's like, fucking... And what... It's crazy, it's, man. Like, like I'm, I'm speechless, but it's like, there's a lot to say. It's, yeah, you know, he... <clears throat> I, I never had a hero. And at first, Kobe wasn't my hero. Like, I didn't have a hero still. But, like, through his uh, trials and tribulations, he became my hero. Yeah. It's uh, it's one of those... He, he affected a lot of folks in that type of inspiration, which makes you just want to fucking be your best at stuff. Yeah. You just... You, you want... You have no excuse but to just work. When shit's hitting the fan, you hear, you're like, mama mentality. Like, that's always going to stick with me. Mama yeah. mentality. Yeah, mama mentality. Like, yeah. And you know what? <clears throat> he had that before it was even popular. Like, that mama mentality stuff. Like, it's just so fucking sad. Yeah. It is, man. Like, you can't be that great without that type of, like, work ethic. I don't think. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's something that, uh... It's something that has hit me very hard, and and not a lot, a lot of depths do that to me. Weird, right? Like, 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 like you were saying, like when we were when we were talking about this, it's it's fucked up. But even like some family members, yeah, has as they pass hasn't affected me as bad as has Kobe has passed. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. There's something. Oh, you heard us. Ooh, the spirit. The spirit. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, that, man. Uh, and, and you know what? I just hope that it's not... After his passing, I feel like he's still going to be around. I think Kobe's going to be talked about forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, everybody that knows anything about basketball, they're going to be like, hey, kid, to a younger kid, you ever heard of Kobe Bryant? Watch this. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's exactly. the guy to go to. And just like, also like with Michael Jordan and stuff like that. Yeah, those are people you want to watch, but like, there's just something that hits different now about it. Well, yeah, especially now. Uh, and to lose, like you said, to lose that type of, that type of hero, that type of inspiration at, at so young, man, it, it's just... Yeah, he's not that much older than us. We grew no, up with him. We did. We grew up with him. He was our, he was our... He was like our superhero. And I'm not saying that he's like a, you know, like a hero that comes to the rescue kind of thing. Yeah. But he was like, um, he was like a hero, like, uh, like uh, how would you say? Like, you know, like uh, the Avengers kind of hero, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, this guy, is, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like there's uh, your obvious heroes, like your, your firefighters and so forth that nurses, RTs that actually yeah. like help people, save people. But this guy, he saved people in, in, in other ways in terms as far as just... I thought that's what was going to outlive me. 
I know, man. Yeah, Seriously, it's sure. Kobe, dude. Yeah, I thought it's Kobe, I thought man. we were gonna see fucking Uncle Drew looking Kobe. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, that's man. what I'm thinking, dude. Like, like we're gonna see an old Kobe. Kobe, man. Especially and 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 I, I was really looking forward to seeing like uh, Gianna. Like, oh pass, yeah. Like, have that torch passed on to her, man. Yeah. She was a little baller. Yeah, dude. you know I, I I like the fact that like. I like the fact that he had someone to give it to. I know. You know, and you see how passionate he was talking to her about it. Oh, you know, and you see it in her, man. Yeah, she just, fire yeah, she's really like, just like, just like this scary. What the heck? Yeah, what's scary? He was like, I, what? He actually like got it. Um, the word uh, Mamba Sita. Yeah, Mamba Sita. Yeah, man. he got that shit <laughs> patent, right? Or I don't know how that works, but whatever, you know. That's her. Yeah, that was her. her Mamba Sita. But um, we'll do this little toast here. Hey. Cheers to you guys. To y'all. And you know Kobe, we're, we're fallen. Fallen. City of Angels, man. City of Angels. Ooh. Smokey. Smokey Johnson. It tastes, not, to, not to go off topic. Yeah, uh that sounds that tastes like it's woody. Yeah. It's it's woody. Uh this reminds me more of a scotch. With sweetness. There's a sweet note. Yeah. The ending is just like a charcoalish. Very, very, very smoky. Uh, what is this actually? Smooth. It is very, very smooth. Yeah, it's a scotch for a, for a smoke. Oh, a scotch whiskey. And matured. What is it? Double matured. Double matured. Double matured. Distilled in 2003 and bottled in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. That's a special yeah. bottle. Man. It is a special bottle for Cole. But uh, man. Remember, uh, you were working, right? Yeah, I was you were working. Work. When that yeah, when he texted me, so I was like, "Oh, all up on it." Dude. And you should just, you should just seen it spread like wildfire. There was people that didn't know nothing about basketball, and they they would come up to me and be like, "Hey, like old per, old person, like, hey, you know the the, the NBA basketball player uh, Kobe Bryant? Yeah, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he passed away." I was like, "Yeah, man, I yeah. heard, man. You know." I, that was insane. Dude. When I first got that text, I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" At, at, at this point, um, when I had when I just when I had just gotten that text, um, I was sick as fuck. I had got the Modelo virus. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you heard. Yeah, you're sick. Huh? I was sick as fuck, man. Um, so I was already feeling shitty, and I'm already you know, and I'm seeing these texts, and I'm seeing what's going on in social media, and I'm in disbelief. And I was like. What's what's rolling through your mind when you know? Okay, you you figure okay, it's official. Are you in denial? Are you just like or or what is it? What is it that's going on through your head? Like at at first, along with the doubt, I, I'm already like I'm going in investigation mode. I'm trying to find like every little detail as much as I can. Okay, but when you found it though, when it when it when was confirmed, confirmed. That's what I meant. Sorry. It was weird, man. It's like this weird, just cold shiver. Not not because I was already sick, but this cold, nasty shiver just went all over me. Wow. This shit really happened. And after his confirmed death, um, they didn't confirm who else passed. Yeah. At first, it was just him. There were so many rumors. There was way many rumors. It was just him and five other people. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, now it's him and, and seven other people, or nine other people, or whatnot. And I'm thinking, like, man, I hope his I hope his kids aren't there with him. Oh, yeah. There were so many rumors. They were crazy, man. man they, they, they even said uh, Rick Fox was in there. Yep. You heard about that? Yeah, I heard about that. Rick Fox being in there. But, um, yeah, man. Like, he was obviously one of the first folks I, I texted. Yeah. Like, Appreciate that, man. What the hell? Yeah, because I, I was even on my phone at that time just to even know. But you know what? Like, after confirmation, you know, I just deal with it a, a little bit different from a lot of people. And a lot of people just sat there in denial. I like, was big time. I didn't want to believe it, of course. I fucking love He's my hero, man. And, you know, I, I didn't want to be it. But once I did... Once I learned, once I confirmed it for myself, I went straight to highlights. And I went straight to things he fucking did. Because I'd rather celebrate this dude because this dude was the shit, bro. You, yeah, you, you can't, like, can't even, deny that, man. Like, you, you know, it's kind of, I feel <laughs> kind of, uh, I don't want to be greedy when it comes to it. And, like, just say, like, okay, 
you know, I'm gonna hold on to uh, his life. Like this guy can't die. And I feel like that's being greedy. But now that I know that's confirmed, I'm gonna celebrate. Amen. I'm gonna celebrate fucking how how much he fucking touched the world, bro. Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna cheers to you, Kobe. I know. Cheers, I know. Kobe. I know this. I know. Again, I'm gonna yeah. celebrate. Oh yeah, and, and I am too. His his reach again just goes beyond bas- basketball. Oh, way beyond. It's a uh, it, Grammy, yeah. right? Um, or what's Oscar? It? Oscar, come on. For that uh, short film he did. Yeah. Um, I mean, speaking of his accomplishments, his uh, five-time champion. Yeah. Eighteen-time All-Star. Name uh, it, bro. Name it, right, bro. We got a twelve-time All-Defensive player. Yeah. Yeah. That's not easy to do. No, defense? Not 12 years? Okay, we have a, uh, he's a four time uh, All Star MVP. I know yeah. you know something about one of the ones he shared with Shaq. Yeah, man. Cool thing, uh, cool story on that. Uh, what, one where he shared with Shaq, he actually let Shaq take home so that his, his boy Sharif could actually hold on to that, that MVP trophy. Man. That's so funny. It's crazy, dude. That's so dumb. Yeah. And, it's not just like yeah, Kobe and Shaq had their had their things, but at the end, I'm glad they kind of reconciled. And oh yeah, yeah, you know, time, time, time changes things because you get to reflect on how it was, you know, and then also uh, time also lets you uh, separate yourself from it. Yeah, you know, and realize like hey, that feeling that you missed. It's yeah, like uh, they're 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 beyond that type of like. Call it competition or call it that beef. They're competitive nature. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're both alphas. They they recognize. This is what's one more th- important. This is one thing that I wish, not wish, but like everybody knows. Kobe got robbed so many years of MVP. Yeah. There's so many. This guy could have been MVP every year, but you know what? Other people got it. It's okay. But we know. We know who the MVP is. We know the MVP. Even though he only got one MVP for the 2000, 2008. Uh, 2009, right? Uh, 2007, 2008. Oh, 2007, yeah, 2000, 2000. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Correction. Correction. 2007, 2008 season. And then uh, he, he was also a two-time scoring champ. I felt like, no, oh, here. Could have been <laughs> every fucking year. No, oh, yeah. He won it. He won it. Uh, one of them was the... When he scored 81 points here. Oh. Yeah, right. one of the. Yeah. That fucking crazy ass home game, bro. Hey. That's probably one of my, like, one of the like, craziest, like, favorite Kobe moments, I think. Oh, yeah, that yeah. scoring. You know what's so funny about, like, uh, they have a meme out and it's, like, a bunch of NBA players oh. and they're all smiling. <laughs> and and Jalen Rose, yeah, right? And Jalen Rose has two smiles because it says, hey, uh, if a uh, smile of Kobe scored 40 on you and then, you know, because he scored the 81. And you, you had. Not only Jalen Rose, but you had all these all stars, mind you, man. You oh, had yeah. Vince Carter, man, what, Camar- uh, Carmelo, uh, you just name, you Chris name Paul. It, Chris Paul. Yeah. Man. Everybody, Kobe, man. Oh, he dropped on you, man. If, yeah. you, if you weren't playing for the Lakers, he dropped on you, man. Uh, he was also a 15 time uh, all NBA player. Mm-hmm. And uh, nine, uh, rookie, he was an all rookie for his rookie season. And then um, he was a two times finals MVP. Yeah. I could have said all that shit off the top of my head. <laughs> I mean, I'm cheating like, right now. You know what I'm saying? It's, but that's that's how crazy his accomplishments are. You got to read them down to like memorize all that make shit. Make sure. Man. You got to make sure. Bro, that's that's mad, mad respect on Mambo right there. But uh, shit, man. Again, he goes beyond his stats. Oh, yeah. He's, he's way beyond. It's, 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 it's insane. You, you figure how many other like... Especially like the, the basketball players that are fucking have gotten inspired by him. Oh yeah, Joel Embiid. Like not only him, but just like pretty much everyone in the underclass. A lot of people were so sad, bro, man. I don't, I don't know how folks played that day. Yeah, I, you know what I really thought? I thought the NBA should have shut it down. No, man. It's a oh man, it's sad, and then and then. Watching those games later on, with like the the tributes they did, oh yeah, the the twenty four second violations, the uh, the eight, eight second, second backcourt. backcourt violations, man, it's it's it was fuck it was touching, man. Yeah, it was just, it was touching. 
Yeah, man. There's so many. Um, I seen. Uh, I seen a lot of the tributes that they did do, but there was one that just fucking got me. So I watched like the first one I watched was uh, when uh, the Trey Young. You know, they did the eight wore, second violation. He wore his uh, number eight. And it was a highlight. So I seen it and I was like, oh, Trey Young, I know he's connected to him because that was Gigi's favorite player. Yeah. You know, and then I was like, okay. But the one that got me for some fucking reason was the, it hit so hard. It was the one where I watched the San Antonio Raptors do it. That 24 second shot clock. Just because Popovich. Damn it. You know, we went to war with those fools, man. Yeah, Lakers and Spurs, man. You already know. What the hell of wars with them? Yeah, man. And I just feel like... I just feel like that one just hit, you know? And that... Yeah. I haven't ever... I never... I don't think as an adult I've cried for another math, man. And that, that one time I was alone, I watched it, and one fucking tear shed. Yeah. I wish I had more, but that uh, hot challenge took all. <laughs> <laughs> no man, but that that game in particular, because like you had, you also had Tim Duncan there. You had Greg. Oh. Watching their reactions broke me down too, man. Like I couldn't help but to feel that emotional watching that particular game. And I, I had that game going, and then I had like all these other news things going, like in my computer, just just trying to get. Just diving in, trying to get a feel for what's really going on. Yeah, man. Just or this was this this was already after you knew everything. Well, because uh, I think at that time it was already confirmed. Oh, okay, okay. So you already knew everything. <clears throat> I okay. already knew what was going in, uh, especially well, within the, the Spurs game. It's just I don't know. I, I just I was in such denial. I just needed to have it there, just to again to dive in, just to know what's really going on, because then. At that point too, that's when I knew like who who else was confirmed as far as like yeah, who had passed. It, 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 and uh, man, just know, yeah, especially knowing that Gigi was on there too, man, that broke me, bro. I think they should retire her number up in the Lakers though. Yeah, I think so. Put a little, little, little jersey number yeah. two. Uh, Gigi. Yeah. Oh, so speaking of like jerseys, man, I, I feel okay. I've seen a lot of players changing their numbers. Yeah, you know, and uh, and what do you think about like should the NBA? I know it's not official, but like a lot of the players like are doing. It. Do you think they should change their numbers from uh, no eight and no twenty four? As far as retiring the numbers, yeah, yeah. I, I throughout think so. the league, throughout the league, throughout the league. Uh, Dallas Mavs have already. Um, what's his name? Cuban. Cuban. Mark Cuban. Uh, you know why Mark Cuban did it? Because Kobe <laughs> hit that three point <laughs> left hand jumper, right? Yeah, I remember the Cuban uh, got up and yeah. he was just. Like, okay. 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 Oh, I know money. Okay. I know, <laughs> I know money. So big ups to big ups to Mark. He he's retiring uh, eight twenty four. That's dope. Man. Um, Lakers are already done with it. Lakers are yeah for sure. Um, I, I I think they should man. I mean, again, he goes beyond basketball, and it's just, I, and I think the players know it too. It's like I don't think I can ever wear. Number eight or twenty-four. Like, yeah, just like, yeah. it's crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I just feel like you know, if all the people they just agree to it, right? Yeah. Like, just do it. I think I think they should. I think so because you know he passed early and he meant so much to the game. Way too early. He didn't have a chance to be an old man. No, you know, forty-one, and, man. You know what I liked about him? If you reached out to him, I think in the NBA, and you, he knew you weren't joking around about shit. Yeah, he, he, he he's, a, he's a type that can fucking weed through the bullshit. Oh yeah, he could see it. He could see it. If there's one guy. Yeah. Oh, one of those stories was uh, recently was the Lou Williams. Oh that, yeah. Yeah, Lou man. Williams. Uh, he he said yeah. Uh, one day when they played against Toronto yeah he was like he took all their Kobe's all the he whole, took all the, the Nike Kobe shoes yeah. tossed them in the trash <laughs> and said you guys don't deserve this <laughs> y'all <laughs> <laughs> how, how dope is that dude oh man so that is if, if you ever watch if you ever watch like uh, some of the 
practices where he got into it with uh, like Nick Young and all Nick that. Young. Oh yeah, like, yeah, soft, yeah, fucking hella soft. And then when uh, Nick uh, broke his thumb, oh, he kept throwing in the ball. He, he didn't believe throwing, him, dude. He didn't believe him, <laughs> but He's Nick, Nick was saying as soon as he got his surgery, Kobe was the first one to text to see how he was doing, and he was the last one to text to see how he was doing after his thumb surgery. Yeah. So I mean, like, there's compassion there, but there's also there's also that fucking fire that makes you like you gotta try. You gotta push to another level. If you're gonna play with Kobe, you fucking better put your fucking more than your A game on. Oh yeah. Um, I heard like only uh, there was only like one player like Kobe would show up really early, and you know you know his style right the Mamba mentality he would always show up and do yeah. that stuff and he, they said that there was only one player to ever try to do it with him, and it was Karan Butler. Oh, shit. That's why they got so close. Mm. You know, and you got to show up, man. Like, if your leader is leading, you got to fucking... Yeah. That's why he was a leader, man. He was a leader. I'm so glad he stuck through, too, as far as being, like, a Laker. Oh, just a Laker. speaking of that, there's stories that I heard yesterday. Uh, Jerry West was... Uh, Talking about how he told Kobe, Kobe was about to be a Clipper, man. Yeah, he t- and he talked to him. <laughs> yeah, he said, "Hey, you don't want to play for that guy, bro. You want to do it, Kobe?" And he, if you guys don't know, Jerry West, fucking, is the man. By the way, he he, he is Mr. Laker. Yeah, he's seen he's seen what I seen as a little kid in Kobe, and you know he got him. We got him for the uh, we traded him for Vladi Divac. He got drafted to uh, the Charlotte <laughs> Charlotte, you know. And we traded Vladi's punk ass all the way over there. Really? Vladi was cool though. Vladi, he was, he was cool. a Laker though. I'm not gonna hate on him. He, we traded him for Kobe, and we got fucking Kobe, man. Yep. You know Jerry West seen man. something in him. That like, bro, that yeah, that '96 man. Oh, that draft was nuts. That's when we got. That's when we got Shaq too. I think right. Shaq came in that summer in '96. Mm-hmm. Um, but that class, you were saying, uh, was that Derek Fisher? Yeah, we have a. We can uh, do who a, else was in that class? Man? Iverson, for sure. Iverson was in that class. Yeah, and Rock. Kobe would have won MVP. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, off the bench. Off the bench. Off the bench. Uh, but Iverson, he's a beast, though. And he battled Kobe. Oh, man. Yeah. That was, yeah Philadelphia Lakers, bro. Oh, man. That was. Yeah. That was crazy. Let me see. Okay, you're, oh, good, you're, you're good. good. You're good. Oh, yeah, man. So we also had. Um, I think at that time was a I think, dude, Ray Allen. Ray, oh yeah, Ray Allen was Ray on there. Allen, was Marcus Camby, Steve Nash, Marcus Camby, uh, Antoine Walker. Oh shit, he was on there too. Yeah, he yeah, was a number eight too. Man. He was number eight too. That's right. Celtics. I wonder if that was like a fucking not a conspiracy, but like a like a, a PR move. Right, number eight. eight. Yeah, number eight. Fuck man, ninety six. You said Marbury already, right? Oh, no, it's not. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, uh, Marbury and Stephon uh, Marbury. Sharif Abdul Rahim. Man, what a class. Yeah, that was a fucking 16. badass class. I was. Kerry Kittles, too, I think. Kerry Kittles. Oh, shit. Yeah. Was it, dude? I think I was in like the sixth, fifth, sixth grade. I was grade. 40 already. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was in the fifth grade when that when that class hit, man. Oh, um, but shit. Oh. What a fucking class. My bad. Travis Knight. Travis Knight. <laughs> Laker oh. alumni. Laker alumni. <laughs> that shit's hilarious, man. Yeah. yeah, that was in the same class right there. Dude, that shit was so that shit was so dope, man. That year, like, that was like probably the year where I was like super into like, you know, because we're little kids, and you know what I did? Like, as a little kid, I I seen Kobe Bryant, I heard about him, and I was just like, fuck, I am about to. I'm about to do this shit. I, I, I'm gonna. I'm all in on him. So I, what I did was, I as a little kid, I bought fucking jerseys. I, not jersey. I didn't have money for that. I bought all his rookie cards, and I bought things that 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 were like little memorabilia from him. And I just yeah. fucking met this. I mean, I just met him. I just seen him, and he wasn't even. Sh- he wasn't even like that big of a shit. I just was no, so. Man. You know, magnetized by him, bro. Yeah. Uh, you know, I... he he made big noise with the uh, was that the McDonald's Sprite uh, slam dunk contest, and that's when I first like kind of like. Paid See, attention. I didn't I didn't know about that. I just seen him as a Laker, and I was so into the Lakers right then and there. Yeah, man. Right then and there. <laughs> oh, that's that's when I first like uh, like kind of paid attention to Kobe, but at the same time, I didn't pay too much mm-hmm. about it. Um, 
I think the the very first time I saw Kobe, uh, we went we went to a, a Laker game at the Great Western Forum. Yeah. Woo woo. <laughs> and uh, I think I was at nine. It had to been it had to been ninety six ninety seven. I was like, yeah, I was in the sixth grade, and uh, I, I was at the tunnel where all the, the players are coming out. And I remember at that time, my thing was, oh, Nick Van Axel. Oh, Nick Van Axel. Eddie Jones. Yeah. And I'm seeing these players come out. Elvin like, yeah, Campbell. fuck yeah. Elvin Campbell, he was there. Cedric. <laughs> Sabalos. Oh, Bro, and then uh, I do remember seeing Kobe come out and... Uh, I just remember like, oh man, hell yeah, that's Kobe. I mean, at that time, I'm not, I'm not paying like too much attention. Because he's not like, boop, boop, boop. he's not. Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't like Eddie Jones or Nick Van Axel. But at the same time, it was like, okay, that's Kobe. He's a new guy coming in, showing us up. Um, but that, that, I, that was like my first, time, my first time ever seeing like Kobe there at the, the Great Western Forum. I have a Kobe story. Like, this is rookie year. So this is when I'm like all on his nuts, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this guy, Kobe, uh, he did a signing at uh, Big Five in El Segundo, his rookie year. And you know what? I take that back. It was not his rookie year. It was that after, right? He had a fro. Oh, so that must have been 98. Yeah, so he it was Froby. 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 Yeah, yeah so I, I seen him and I'm a little kid. And I fuck, I fucking was like, okay, I'm gonna take, you know, cards to him. And I didn't know how it worked. I never seen a celebrity like this. I never knew how any of that worked. I'm still little, you know. Yeah. But I did bring, I did bring this one card that I thought was so fucking cool. <laughs> and it, and it's Kobe wearing sunglasses. Uh, yeah. I know sunglasses, sunglasses and, like that. Even wearing them, yeah, and a buttoned up, up, just smiling. It's not even a basketball Bro, card. It's a basketball I'm, I'm card. I'm gonna post that up somewhere. Yeah, you guys can see it. And he signed it. He signed it. This is the first time I met Kobe. I was so scared to fucking shake his hand because, dude, when you met him, when I met him, when you meet your hero, it's okay for you to be like, ah, you know? Yeah, there's. You have that excuse there to do that. This is my favorite card, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking dope, man. Yeah, you, got, you got to take that with you. He's huh? so fucking confident. Bro, you see the back? <laughs> Look at the back oh, with the shades on. Oh, damn. Bro. Look at that. <laughs> that dude with the shades Oh, the back. Oh, yeah. Bro. That's a oh. style. Old school style, man. Damn. Was Oakley's? Was Oakley's over there? Let's see what this is. Okay, so like, it even has stats on here. It says uh, yeah, they were Oakley's. The bug guys, so like 92, 93, yeah, Marriott. So this was 96. This might be his. Oh, what? Yeah, because it says four years. Oh, no, I bought the card in. This is his rookie card. One of his oh, rookie, rookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Rookie but then you card. met him at, at Froby. Yeah, this was 626, 96. Brian's hoop dreams co become a reality lined with royal purple and gold. Damn. Damn. What a thought, man. Young Philadelphia kid. Yeah. Come through to be an, well, yeah, actually, an icon. His dad was an NBA player, mm -hmm. being Bryant, you know, grew Joe. Up, he uh, grew up in Italy. Yeah, right? yeah, he was here first, and then he went to Italy, and then he came back out here. That's insane, man. That's why he learned how to speak Italian. Italian. He spoke, he took, he spoke Italian, Spanish, Spanish English, a yeah. little bit of Chinese too, right? And a little bit of, uh, what is that? Uh, that Russian fool. Is he Russian? What oh, is he? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, um, what's his name? Dallas? Oh, oh Dallas yeah. Babs? Oh, he's badass. Yeah, okay. man. Luka. Oh, Luka. Luka? <laughs> what did you say to him? He, 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 he spoke something to him, and Luka looked back and was like, who's speaking my language? Well, you know, low-key, Luka, you know when Kobe's in the building. Don't be fake. Don't be fake. You, you're like, let, Kobe's me, in, he's like let me take out in front of him. Let me take out. Hey, make sure the ball goes out of bounds right there, bro. <laughs> I gotta, on purpose. On purpose. Oops. Oops a daisy. Yeah, man. Bro, he's, he's, a, he's, man, he's affected so many people, bro. He's touched us. Like, um, one of the cool petitions I've seen was uh, trying to change the NBA logo. I want to see that happen, man. I know Jerry West <sighs> is on there. You know what? I... I really like the NBA logo. I really love Kobe. It looks dope. I like the NBA logo. Jerry the West has but, but the, the thing is, like, do we really want to change that? But if they do, I'm not going to be mad. But I'm just like, uh, If I'm, they do and it's Kobe, then I'm all for it. Yeah, I think, I think we can do more. 
than you know other things that change the logo. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm not for it, but if it happens, it happens. Uh, you know. Yeah, the, the the respect as far as me, like obviously retiring the, the numbers. Because are we gonna change it every time someone dies that plays great? You know, when LeBron Ooh. dies or or Jordan dies, you know. It's just because it's more of a a tragedy that it happened. So it's more like a homage. You know what I mean? Is that the word? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think because it's it's more of a, a tragedy. I think it, it it warrants a tribute. It warrants the fact that we can do it. Cause it's not like he died at an old age. You know what I mean? And I just wish I just wish. Uh, you know, if we kept it, we kept it. And I'm okay with that because th that logo was not bad. That's an NBA no, right there, NBA, you know. Man. And Jerry West wasn't no chump. No, no, it was not. He was uh, not a chump. Mr. West. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Clutch. Man, Mr. Clutch. Yeah, that was Jerry West, man. Man, did you uh, did you wear any uh, Kobe shoes? Oh me? Yeah, I got the first shoes. Uh, my first Kobe's was the the ones that look like toasters. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I hated Adidas. Oh, yeah. I, I hate wait, man, when he signed with the deals. I was like, "What?" I I, I get it. He didn't want to hop on the Jordan train and jump I, with Nike back then. I, but bro, I, I'm when he came you. out with those locomotives, those oh, yeah. fucking choo choo trains, <laughs> iron, <laughs> so iron. Nice. bro, I know, man. <laughs> Fucking iron shoes. I I was not digging it, man. Okay, low key. All I used to wear as a kid was Adidas. I wasn't a Nike person. Mm. And then I went to fucking. I so him coming out with Adidas was like already. That was your shit. Yeah, yeah. because I was like, oh shit, we on. But his crazy eights are one of the best. His crazy okay. eights. His crazy eights and uh, the two. Those bench, were cool. Yeah, those were like I think those were the best Adidas versions of his shoe. Yeah. They were really good basketball shoes. That was, that was before the fucking toasters, right? No, toasters are thing number one. Were the toasters the first ones? Yeah, list? toasters were the first ones. Okay. Yeah, those were horrible. <laughs> the Kobe Nike Bro. ones, the Zoom, those were really nice. Those were With sick. the little lip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those were sick. Dude, basketball I was shoes. so happy when he hopped on, when he was rocking the Hyper Dunks. And mm. then he started doing his own shit. I was like, okay, Kobe, I'm going to rock with you, man. I'm going to rock with you, man. Bro, he made some. Man. He did. Nike made some good shoes with him. Uh, and I like uh, the plant paint in the Bruce Lee's. Oh. Or uh, the low top with the after his Achilles injury. Yeah. Those were yeah, like low top shoes. I was like, what? Those playing sick. basketball low top shoes. You know. I think yeah, that was the first shoe. I think Man, with low tops. Innovation. As far as basketball. Yeah. I was like, okay, fuck, Kobe can do it. Fuck, I'm gonna do it too. But man. Speaking of like that, like, what do you think about like all these people like? You know, maybe they're trying to resell everything, right? I don't even want to buy it. I'm not buying anything. No, it's, 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 I get it if it's for a specific, like, charity, like the Kobe and Vanessa Foundation. But maybe but too soon? Maybe, maybe Just way too soon. soon. Yeah. And really cool thing about Nike, what they're doing what is, they uh, they actually stop uh, the sale of uh, Kobe products to prevent any type of resale for profiting uh, and bullshit like that, so which is pretty dope. Yeah, eBay, um, shut your shit down real quick. Man, it should, man. Or unless you want to fucking donate. But um, that was a really cool thing I think Nike did. That's dope with Nike. I, that's so crazy that they're just like, pull the plug. I know. It's like, hey. Nah. Nah. Not today, son. Nah. Not today. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Man. I don't know, dude. I don't think any other... It's one of those deaths, dude. I just... Oh. Even like out of all, all the other celebrities, dude, like, I don't think one's gonna hit as hard as, as this Michael one. Jackson was like a strong one for me, too, like, but it was no, there was like no emotion. Like, I just missed, like, the old school Mike, you know, like, he did a lot yeah. of, when I, you know, growing up and stuff like that, but like, this right here, this, 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 where the heart is, bro. Yeah, it, it hits home. I know, I know we're saying this, especially because uh, we're Laker fans and we're from LA, but. Five. Time fucking NBA <laughs> champion. What's that shit? You see that meme where he's like, "Oh yeah, we know." Yeah, bitch. Yeah, we know. You'll know. We know. That's fucking dope. Man. Uh, There's so many people chasing him now. You know. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, you know, oh, LeBron just passed him on the scoring the night before, right? LeBron, night before. Le LeBron, yeah, the night before. Cool little tribute he did on his shoes too. Uh, he just passed him as far as like the all-time scoring. Yeah, uh, third. He's in third now. Uh, Kobe yeah, third. went to fourth. 
Um, and then Kobe's last tweet, man. What was his last tweet? Uh, Kobe's last tweet was giving him the respect, the props of LeBron passing him up. He uh, he also I seen LeBron's thing saying like, hey, uh, I'm gonna, I got this shit. Watch over me, and that's, I got this shit. Yeah, man, that that that's gotta fuel you, bro. Man, when um, I was I was watching the news, and as as the Lakers had landed, uh, playing that last game, uh-huh. and everyone was just in a wreck, bro. Everyone was crying. They all heard it on the plane, man. <sighs> it's fucking insane, dude. And, and yeah, it's just a sad, sad thing to see, man. Especially when you see LeBron um, crying and hugging whoever he was hugging as they landed. I like that. I like that they uh, they got rid of all the media. They didn't let the media. You know, there was some footage, but it wasn't like. Yeah. You know. Because you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that type of space, especially when when something like that happens. You know what I mean? It's, it's especially fucking, with our organization. organization. And it's crazy. We say our. It, it is yeah, ours. It's ours. I mean, you know? it, it is ours. It is LA's. I mean. Um, it's it's something I, I I'm proud to say it's ours. I'm I'm glad we uh, postponed that game Tuesday too, man. Oh yeah. Because I don't I don't know how the fel- <laughs> I'm about to say I don't know how the fellas can play that day. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I just it's... felt like the whole NBA should shut it down, bro. Dude, that that <laughs> Sunday was rough, bro. I mean, yeah. just in, in in utter disbelief, bro. It's, it's insane I'm, I'm glad they're, they're taking a bit Do you of know time. when they uh when they're gonna play the game um no i don't think they said anything um they will play this friday mm-hmm. uh was that against the uh, trailblazers and you know what man i'm so turned off by everything right now i'm just not even paying attention what i thought i knew i don't know that's not even paying attention um i think shaq had a pretty cool thing he uh he did a, a little get together uh, in Miami uh, for the Super Bowl thing, and um, all the proceeds that he had raised is going to the Vanessa and Kobe Foundation, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, and again, it, it, it's awesome, and, and as well as sad to see some, to hear some of the player stories about Kobe. The, one of them was like, really interesting. Was it Tracy McGrady? Like they were really, really close when they were young. Oh yeah. And you know they went at it. They went at it. But like Tracy McGrady said that um, that Kobe said that he wanted to die young, an icon. I don't know if that's correct word icon, but like around those, you know, yeah. around those lines. But and he did. He definitely did. Um, the way he did. Uh, it's yeah. It's it's a tragedy, man. It's a big, big tragedy. But uh, and it, and it's sad. But uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of a lot of happy stories, I guess, as well. That comes so, along with it. So many a lot, Kobe story. Everybody has, and they're all coming out. They're you all know? coming out. Like one of my favorite Kobe stories, like, is that time I had to take a shit so bad. <laughs> I, 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 I like the story, bro. Dude, I, like, so I got off work. It's, I'll say it again. I know I said it before. It's such a good story. I, I got off work, and it's like 6.30 in the morning. I got off work from working night shift, and I have to take a boo-boo, and I go to the front of my workplace, and when I walk in there, I see all the administration. I'm like, uh, you know what? I'm going to hold it until, because we usually play basketball that day. And so I go... <sighs> I get in my car, I drive all the way there, I get out of my car, I got I gotta, I gotta shit so bad by the way, like, cause I'm already holding it, and when I gotta go, I gotta go. I fucking grab my Kobe's, I had the Bruce Lee's, had my basketball when I walk inside, no one's there yet, cause it's like uh, maybe like 6.45 in the morning. And I get in, I open, I go inside, and I'm walking to the restroom. And when I fucking walk to the restroom and I hit the turn, guess who's fucking walks out? <laughs> Kobe Bean Bryant <laughs> with his broad shoulders and his stern look in his face he was so focused man he looked at me and said so, so calm and cool as Kobe could be 
And I just acted like... I told like, you, I gotta go poo-poo. <laughs> I, mean, I have to shit so bad, right? Yeah. You know, you have to keep that. I have to shit so bad that when I walk by him, I cannot speak. He walks by me, and there's like a little divider, and I walk past the divider, and I'm just like, What's up, Kobe? <laughs> Clenching my butt cheeks so hard, uh, and then dude. and then so I rush in there. So I'm like, Okay, he's gonna be here. I rush in there to take a deuce. I try to pop it all out. I don't care if I wipe correctly or not. I just had to get out the system. I came back out because I was like, dude, I want to fucking shake this guy's hand. I'm going to tell you something, man. I've never, sh I met him and I've never shaken his hand. The first time I met him when I was a little kid, I was so afraid to shake his hand. And this time I was like, you know what? I told myself, if I ever meet Kobe, I'm going to shake his hand. And then. I won't have that chance. But that's just me being selfish. It just, I'll see you again, Blair. It's and I'm a, definitely gonna shake your fucking hand when I see you. Yeah, man. It's just one of those lessons, man. It's, 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 it's an awesome thing. It's like seeing a fucking, it's like seeing Batman. You know what I mean? Cause you don't think of it then, you know what I mean? So it's like, you see your hero, but it, it, it's a it's a lesson learned. It's just something that humbles you and, and, and lets you recognize like, hey, like if there's any other opportunity like this again, I'm gung ho and I'm all for it. But that, that's 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 honestly one of like my favorite stories hearing. That's Are, fucking so hearing funny. Hearing the Kobe shit story, I know it's like. Hi, Kobe. Hey, what's up? I was such a bitch, dog. How can this man melt me like Hi, that? Hi, Mr. Brian. Mr. Brian. Fuck it, man. I do have a story that's pretty. Another story that's pretty cool. Uh, we're at a Laker game. It's really fucking quiet, right? And then fucking um, Kobe shooting free throws. And this is when uh, I don't remember the game, but I remember it was very quiet. And I just started ch chanting, Kobe, Kobe, and everybody started, I would have thought it was a shit. I, you know what Especially I mean? Especially when you started. Yeah, when you started, Kobe. I did it. I did it. <laughs> and, and, and that was before, because it was Kobe first, before it was MVP. Yeah. MVP, right? Yeah, yeah. Those chants were like, that was like the, oh, man, I got so, god damn this guy. No man. Fucking miss you, man. But you have to go, bro. <sighs> yeah. Man, a lot of these stories got to me, man. Shaq's story too. Actually, what's your favorite Kobe moment? Like anything. My favorite man, there, there's a couple of them. I think one one for sure was that crazy ass fucking playoff game with Kobe and Shaq. Uh, against the Trailblazers. Oh, Portland. They, they had oh. uh, they, playoffs. They had, yeah, they had uh, Pippen on there. Oh. It's just that iconic. Wallace. Wallace. She Wallace. Yeah. Exactly. It was just that. It's just ingrained because it was it was such a big highlight like, uh -huh. when Kobe lobbed that that uh, the crossover cross, Pippen first. Yeah, he crossover Pippen first, and he lobbed it to Shaq to finish off that dunk. Oh, she Wallace almost got that. Bro, shit. that. Dude, they to made me, a sick ass commercial from that. Do you see that? I didn't see that commercial. Oh, there's a commercial. When you have a chance, look at it. It's a commercial where there's nobody in the stands. And first it's just Kobe dribbling. And then nobody's there yet, right? Kobe's dribbling, then Pippen comes in. And then I think it was uh, Grant comes in. And then uh, Shaq. And then Rasheed. And then the fans. It, it's like. Oh, these. Uh, man. Like they, you know, they layer it in. That, like. that shit will always be forever and great. Fuck. And then like afterwards, Shaq's like, oh, oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. Dude, that, that was like one of, yeah. That's I think my, for me. one of my favorite Kobe moments was when Kobe went baseline against, uh, against the Spurs. And he did a reverse dunk on four Spurs. You ever see when, that? Uh, Bruce Bowen. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he doubled back and then came around for the reverse one, right? He came all the way across. He went baseline. No, he was on the right side. He went baseline and he jumped up through all of them, Duncan and everybody. Fuck. And then he did a fucking reverse. And I was like, oh, jeez. Oh, he also had a bad time one time was when he shot the those three-pointers. Rookie year. 
against uh, Utah. Utah in the playoffs. Against Utah. Hey, came back a beast the next year. Oh, though. yeah. Was, uh, uh, was that rookie year, right? I think it was rookie year, yeah. That was like a uh, very... Me seeing that, like, and he just kept shooting. Air ball, Ooh, air yeah. ball. Kept going. And I, I, like, and like knowing him now, it's like, you know he would have made like four more of those just yeah, to get he, that oh, shit going, oh, man. Oh, he would have kept shooting. That, that, yeah, he, he definitely outshined that 97, 98 season two, man. Oh. Coming out after that game. Ah, oh, bro. Dude, after those, that year after the allegations, he came back a fucking monster. Oh, yeah. Bro, yeah. Especially after that year. Speaking of those allegations, man. I know. You know what? A lot of fucking people trying to chase that clout. Yeah. A lot of, uh, I think a few news reporters are trying to bring out that case as well. Mm-hmm. Um, she's closed. She's closed, bro. What can you do? It's acquitted. Yeah. The girl from Colorado, she had a history. She had a history. Granted, shit went down as far as like, not we wanted to hear, but at the same time, the case was acquitted. Close. There Everyone's was no happy. testimony. Yeah. He didn't rape her, motherfucker. Yeah. Bro. And then, man. Civil, what? civil, he got, she got paid. Civil, she got paid. It's, but through like the, whatever the main one was. Yeah. It's just, it's foul how folks are coming out with this shit. And that's all you got? It's all you got right after. Because I'm going right to tell you something. After. We got way more good memories than... Way more good. And we're all human. And that's what something... Exactly, we, that's, man. You know what? He has actually showed us... He showed us that we are all human. We are all human. Even when we think you're a superhero, we are all human. And through that, he showed there was a road to redemption. And he definitely fucking traveled that path. Uh, one person I'm really really pissed at and it sucks because i listened to this dude and at first i first listened to him through uh because i'm a big joe rogan fan yeah, yeah i and, seen that guy on there and um i used to think this dude was hella funny i mean he was pretty funny it's just he likes to push buttons he likes that negative he, he likes that negative sh- it's it's horrible man ari shafir fuck you bro hey this guy, you are, you know, you're no longer allowed in LA. Oh yeah, this. Ari Shafir, you fucked up, bro. Yeah. Joe Rogan can't save you. And I don't know how Joe's gonna handle that. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell people how to like handle their friends or whatever. You can't. But like, like if you're Joe's friend, wouldn't you think about Joe when you said yeah, that yeah. shit? Yeah, yeah. You didn't think about yeah because you you're bringing down a lot of people with you. And like you're chasing that type of clout. To get that type of notoriety. Mm. The people that you're going to fucking attract? You want that kind of people behind you? Yeah. Fuck you, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, you know what? Everybody has their opinions. And we can't hate on that. And I it, do, do, do I like what the fuck he's saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. Exactly. And do I think it's right? No. no. As far as uh, the comedic standpoint... And as far as the freedom of speech, you have that right. But know that there's consequences to what you say. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, everybody has a plan. Good old Mike Tyson said it best. <laughs> everybody has a plan. Yeah. So you get fucking knocked in the face, man. Yeah. And you're marked, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's you plain and simple. You, you, you don't understand you how many up, people are this for. I'm glad... Uh, Michael Rappaport put him on blast too. Oh, I didn't hear that one yet, but I'm gonna listen to that one after. This. Oh man! So uh, enough talking about that piece of shit. Yeah, he, he already had too much of our time already, bro. Let's hear But just saying, man, you can't come back to LA. You just better stay hiding, man. Cause that's some shit. Uh, but other than that fucked up news, I'm, I'm glad other folks are talking good. Yeah. About someone that is good, like Jimmy Fallon, like oh, Jimmy nice, Kimmel. Nice. The, the late the, night shows, the man, they're one? hilarious, dude. You seen the Jimmy Kimmel? You seen the Jimmy Kimmel one? Uh, pretty cool tribute he did uh, about uh, the 15 times he showed up on uh, the show. That's a lot. Yeah, man. Especially being as busy as as Kobe is, man, to to show up like that. It's uh, shows a lot. 
that uh, Jimmy Fallon story too. Was oh, dope. the Jimmy Fallon one is pretty dope. Uh, I guess he met Kobe when uh, he was 21 and Kobe was 17 and they went on a beer run. And uh, when they went on the beer run, <laughs> they went to a liquor store and the liquor store was like, we can't sell it to you because it's delivery only. And then Kobe put out his ID. And he's like, I'm a Laker. <laughs> they got the beer. They got the beer. You, know, you can watch it. You can watch the whole thing. You know, I'm just saying it in short, you know. That's pretty sick. But I heard the, what did Jimmy Kimmel do though with his audience? Uh, the, well, uh, when, when Jimmy Kimmel did his uh, tribute, uh, it was only, it was only fit to not have a live audience there. Oh, it was sorry. just a, it was just a taping, and uh, and a show of respect, uh, just a tribute, Kobe. So sending everybody home. Sending everyone home. We um, did too. To you know, our live audience is not here today, but we we appreciate y'all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, all y'all. We wanted them to hold the applause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but man, one day. You don't even know. One day. You're at Belly Bangers. Belly Bangers show. Hey, Late night show. <laughs> hey. Hey, dude, man. I would have, hey. Mama mentality, bro. Yeah, what happened? Uh, what happened? Uh, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey, do you uh, know man. why he used to bite his jersey? For the sweat, right? Yeah, yeah. for the salt. The salt. Small, small, smart player. Hey, man, but it wasn't, uh, up. it wasn't only his salt, though. Oh, I know. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Playing against uh, Vladi Divac. Or... Oh, no. I heard uh, Brian Grant was like one that was like, because it's dreads. Oh, oh damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do you tell that like to another team? Like Maybe that's like one of their moves. Like, okay, y'all don't shower. Sweat on this floor. Yeah, sweat on this Fucking all nasty. armpits, bro. Arm hell. <gasps> Our armpits. <sighs> Harm pits, <laughs> harmful. Oh man. So they're. Uh, do you know if they're making any like? Do you know anything about the funerals or any uh, memorials or? What's, uh, what's going on? One cool thing that I heard, uh, as far as like, the public memorial that Kobe's gonna have, is that they're gonna have it at the LA Coliseum. Mm. Yeah, man. Real cool shit. Where it all right started. There, where it all started. Uh, all started, and uh, some folks can come by. I don't think there's a date yet. Uh, in the funeral? Uh, for the yeah, memorial, they, they, but... they got to uh, they got to dig through all that. I know. We don't know, and, and nobody people. knows how it. You know, I don't even want to know. And there's like some fake videos that I seen. I don't. They said it was fake. I'm not sure of like the helicopter like actually going down. I know, dude. Uh, I, I just got... want real. This is something not to be joked with. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I got. I got sent links. As far as seeing the actual crash, but it's nothing that I want to see, man. You know, <laughs> especially with the, the people that are involved. You know, one of the things that you did in our last episode is something that like we've been doing our ever since we knew them. Since school, man. Yes, it's cool. Oh, it's, you know that move right there, bro. It's Tasha a tribute. In the trash. It's a tribute, bro. Yeah, the it is. Call me. Oh man! You know what's crazy? <clears throat> Low key, people try to say, "Oh, we used to say Jordan before that." I never heard that shit growing up. Low key, I never heard that shit. This is all Kobe the whole Dude, time. It, he started that I, shit. I will, I will attest to it because the first time I ever heard it was from my brother. And he said Jordan. And he said Jordan. No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Damn it! My my brother was a he's a big Chicago fan. Oh okay. So I. I heard Jordan a little bit before, but for us, yeah, for sure, it's Kobe, man. Yeah. And I think from now on, whenever I throw something, it's not just Kobe. I'm saying for Kobe, for Kobe, oh, for Kobe, yeah. man. And then uh, did you see that little tribute? Which one was that? Uh, the trash can uh, toss. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at the Staples Center at eight p at eight uh, eight twenty four p.m. Yeah, man, that's, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool, man, you know. Well, uh, to folks, uh, if you didn't, if you don't know, uh, folks set up a little trash can and uh, at eight twenty-four, uh, everyone tossed their their paper trash into this little trash can bucket, yelling out Kobe. But uh, yeah, man, just one of those. It just it's gonna stick with you, man. It's Especially been... here, man. It's just Ground Zero, LA. City Kobe built. City Kobe, man. And they say that about the Staples Center. It is true, you know. Like they, that's know, Kobe's house, man. You know what? Shaq and him could have stayed. They could have been together for the whole time, I think. But you know what? It would always be Kobe's. Yeah. 
it would always be Kobe's house. I don't care who came in. They could have had the big 17. You know, the big 12. Whatever the fuck you guys thought you yeah. were, it would always be that man's house. It's, that's Kobe's house for sure. He would, he would demand it. Mm -hmm. He would fight you. He'd probably put some shit in your fucking drink <laughs> so you can boo-boo. You know what I'm saying? This, like, oh, man. This, the stories with him and during practice... I mean, it's it's all in all to make that team better. If you think about it, you know what I mean. It's just not it's not everyone's it's not everyone's cup of tea. You know what? I'm gonna tell you this. Kobe's my hero, and for him to pass, it really it really got me. And just because I don't ever get to have things get me like that. And that was one of the times, I'll, this is one of the times I'll never forget. I don't want to be mad about his passing because that would be selfish. Yeah. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to spread the word of Kobe Bryant. I'm going to spread mad Kobe knowledge. <laughs> uh, hey, okay. They, okay, we got you, Kobe. Yeah. We got you. Yeah, we got you, man. None of this, none of this is going to be forgotten. You have something to say, man? Um, I do, man. Man, it's a tough man. Um. I can't imagine how the families are feeling right now as far as their living passing. Um, uh, I just, again, man, I don't, fuck, dude, it's, it's, it's tough, dude. Um, my prayers go out to uh, Vanessa and the, and the rest of her kids. Um, cause I can't. I can't imagine what she's going through. Uh, and the rest of the other families that lost their loved ones as well. Um, we just pray that you have better days ahead of you. And know that they didn't, their, na their names and stories and memories won't go in vain. So, and we all got you guys. We all got you. You know what I'm saying? You're welcome everywhere. You have the key to the city. Exactly. You got the key to our hearts. This is Tio. This is you, Kobe. Gigi. Thank you. Mamba out. Move out.